The summer of 2010 is one for the history books. Scorching temperatures blasted much of the U.S. East Coast and extreme weather worldwide from heat to drought to floods dominated news headlines. Overall in the U.S., July 2010 ranked as the 17th warmest July on record as a ridge of high pressure dominated over much of the East Coast and the South. Globally, this past July was the second warmest on record. The emergence of La Nina cooled the tropical Pacific. Even so, the period from January to July came in as the warmest on record. In Russia, a crushing heat wave brought wildfires, drought and death, just as devastating floods swept from Eastern Europe to Pakistan and China. The big research questions what caused these extremes and were they interconnected? Some important factors under investigation include, first, a persistent ridge of high pressure shown in red, and starting in late July, a deep trough of low pressure shown in blue extending into Pakistan. Second, an unusual westward extension of the monsoon all the way into Pakistan. Third, La Nina, the periodic cooling of the tropical Pacific is typically associated with a stronger monsoon. And finally, a very warm Indian Ocean with temperatures running about one and a half to two degrees Fahrenheit above average. So these factors and others are what climate scientists will continue to investigate to determine the respective roles of natural climate variability and global warming. It's just too early to provide a definitive answer as to the exact interplay of the two. And as if there wasn't enough severe weather to go around, the U.S. is heading into the peak of Atlantic hurricane season. Forecasters still expect an above average season. Check back soon for another climate update.